Hey everyone, this is Tom from Benchmark. Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the web interface for the new Hemisphere S321. First thing we're going to want to do is open our network menu. Uh, this applies to whatever device you're on, be it a computer, phone, uh, tablet. And you're going to want to look for a network SSID that begins with S321. And then those last four digits are going to be the uh, serial number of your receiver. As you can see, we've got a, an S321 powered on right now. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click Connect. Then it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi on that S321. It will take a while. The S321 is... a uh, has its own network so you're not uh, your computer will be looking for an active internet connection and won't find one um, so it does take a little bit longer to connect once we have that uh, connection to the S321 Wi-Fi network we're going to come to our browser we're going to type in the IP address of the S321 interface that's 192.168.10.1 click enter we're going to type in our username and password. Uh, this is the same for all S321s. By default, it's admin, and then the password is 1234. We're going to click login. And now we're in the web interface of the S321. So this first screen gives us an idea of what the S321 is doing. As you can see, it's the status screen. Uh, we can see that the S321 we currently have, we're currently connected to, is operating as a base uh, through a network data link. We can see the uh, position of the base uh, and its latitude, longitude, and height. We can look, take a look at the number of satellites it's currently tracking and its DOP values. Now if we go over to the information tab, this is more uh, what you think of as housekeeping information. How much of the onboard memory has been used, uh, serial numbers, battery power, uh, and then the firmware version that the device is running. If we go over to download, this is the tab that uh, allows us to manage the internal storage, uh, especially when it comes to things like static observations. And then if we go to the management tab, this is where we can, again, kind of take care of those housekeeping, housekeeping functions. Uh, if, if you need to update your subscriptions, you can do that here. Um, change passwords, logs, and do some self-tests and resets as well. If we click on this settings button, we can actually change the operation of the receiver. So this allows us to configure our receiver without the use of uh, an external data collector. Uh, this is especially useful if you're interested in conducting a static observation. So the first thing we see is system mode. This governs the mode of operation of the receiver. Uh, then we have data link. This is whether we're using the internal UHF the network or an external radio data link. This is just information about the type and quality of the satellite signal we want to receive. Uh, these are our options as that specifically apply to the base. If we select the rover system mode, you'll come down and you'll see that those options aren't there. These options apply to the uh, mode of correction transmission. Since we're running through a network, you can see that there's things like APN information and then IP address for the uh, the network that we're connected to. If we go over the device configuration tab, this is information that governs uh, some of the basic device setup stuff. If we go over the MIA message, this allows us to tell the receiver what type of MIA strings we want it to output. And if we go over to the satellites tab, we can choose to track or not track any one of the satellites uh, that are currently up in the GPS, GLONASS, or BDU constellations. So if we make any changes, we would click save. I'm just going to click cancel since no changes were made. Then we can go back to the status tab. We can see that everything's still working as it should. 
If you have any questions regarding the S321, you'd like to schedule a demo, or you'd like some information on pricing, don't hesitate to give us a call. Toll free at 1-888-286-3204, or you can visit our website, www.bench-mark.ca.